sugars are an essential part of our diet. Without it, we wouldn't have enough energy to sustain our bodily functions. But like with anything, it should be consumed in moderation. It's often very difficult to resist a nice piece of chocolate, especially when you have that insane craving. Just a little block and the craving will go away. Processed sugars can easily be found in many of the snacks and drinks we consume. It's quite cheap to manufacture, it's stored easily and distributed globally. While sugar has helped many people create wonderful creations around the world, on the flip side, clinicians like myself need to deal with the mess it creates. So without further ado, let's learn about what sugar does to your eyes. Hey yo, Antonio. Too much sugar in your system can cause diabetes. In many developed countries, diabetic retinopathy still remains as one of the leading causes of irreversible blindness. While adequate amounts of sugar can do no harm to the eye, excessive sugar can damage many parts of the eye. It mainly creates issues in the blood vessels. Remember what blood vessels were for? They are a pipeline network in the body allowing blood cells to deliver oxygen to the cells. I like to use the analogy of ordering an item online when it comes to diabetic retinopathy. You need the highways for delivery men to deliver the package to your house. The blood vessels are the highways, the blood cells are the delivery men, and the oxygen is the package you ordered. There are different stages to diabetic retinopathy. Number one, diabetes without retinopathy. You can still have diabetes without any damage. Most patients I find in the clinic are at this stage. They tell me they have diabetes, but there is no apparent damage. Now, this is good. Just keep to what your family doctor tells you, and we're all good. The highways are safe, the delivery men are happy, and you are happy that you got your package. Number two, non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. This stage is where you start seeing some damage. Most notably, optometrists will start seeing small changes in the appearance of your blood vessels and it may also present with some small pools of blood, lipids and proteins. Now this is not good because there is evidence that the walls of the capillaries are compromised. Blood cells, lipids and proteins are generally too big to freely escape the blood vessel walls. In this situation, the highways are slightly damaged, occasionally the delivery men get stranded and your package doesn't arrive. Number 3. Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy Uh oh, now you've entered a dangerous territory. The blood vessels are so damaged that the body compensates by creating new blood vessels. Now, this sounds like a good idea, but these new blood vessels are weak and fragile, so they'll break down very easily. You'll be able to see new blood vessels forming on the retina, and this is evidence that it's pure chaos inside the eye. This is the situation where the roads are so damaged that you never get your package. You complain to the Department of Transport that you need more roads, and the government lays down new roads without thorough planning, leading to more road failures and more delivery men being stranded. Not good. In most cases, people with diabetes notice almost no symptoms, which makes it even more important that you have your eyes tested because you might have something that you didn't expect. And even if you didn't have any damage to the eyes, most optometry practices offer a retinal photography machine, meaning that you can create a baseline measure to see what it looks like now, and use that to compare future photos to track your progress. Please be proactive in making sure that you prevent damage before it happens. Now, how do you know if you have high blood sugar levels? Easy, just get your blood tested by your doctor. The measurement we're looking for is the HbA1c which is the average amount of how much sugar your blood cells were exposed to. You really can't cheat because in this test, the lab looks at the average sugar levels in your system in the last three months. Here's a guide to show you what levels you want to be at. My most recent HbA1c's were 4.7. What will yours be? But I'm going to wrap it up here. A quick look at how sugar affects your eyes. I hope you learned something new or at least found something useful. If you did, then yay, thumbs up to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.